Um, so I work on microeconomic theory, and in particular I look on models of information and how agents learn about their environment. And so in many settings in economics, there's some uncertainty about whether a behavior is a healthy behavior, or about whether an interaction is going to be productive or not productive. And so agents are going to be collecting information in order to learn about whether or not they should take certain decisions in the market. And so in particular, I look at what happens if agents may have systematic biases or misunderstand something about the way that they're learning. In particular, they may misinterpret information in towards the political slant that they're um, leaning towards, or they may fail to account for certain strategic interactions, such as how many different action choices are really reflecting the same underlying information. And so within these settings, I want to see um, what happens in the long run. So do we see agents, do these biases influence the way in which they are learning about whether or not to make a certain choice? And then also, given that, how should government agencies or public health agencies release information in order to try and help these informations learn, um, these agents learn? And so in particular, um, once we have a basic model of these types of settings, we can then take it to particular markets. Like for example, if we're looking at a market in which there may be discrimination, and there's different ways in which people learn about men or women or about different um, groups of people, we can then see how these particular biases may manifest in terms of the dynamics of patterns of discrimination. Um, also, we can look at markets where information is used to create incentives. So for example, we could think about Uber designing a rating platform in order to try and create incentives for drivers and um, the passengers to trade on the market. And then we use these rating systems and the design of these rating systems in order to facilitate some sort of interaction between the workers and the consumers. And so in that sense, it's also important how the information is collected and aggregated, how the passengers learn about the past performance of their drivers in order to create incentives about the um, interactions that they have in the future. Um, so there's actually two papers that I've used primarily as a foundation for my work. Um, one is Smith and Sorensen's social learning paper, and that's really the foundation for how I thought about different learning environments. And the other is Feingold and Sanikov's work on continuous time games um, with reputations, and that's really influenced a lot more of the design questions about how to design these rating systems and how to look at creating incentives in these um, markets between, say, Uber passengers and um, Uber drivers. Um, so I think an important question related to what I work on is, in general, I take these models as given. And I say agents may have a particular misspecified model of their environment, but also there may be times where they see evidence in which they need to systematically change their model. And so how we could formally model that in a way that has some content. So do agents update their models? Do they learn when they're biased? Or do they learn when they're misspecified? And if so, how can we capture that relative to situations where they're really sort of stuck with their model and they're learning about their environment but not really taking into account the fact that their model may be misspecified or incorrect. Hi, I'm Aislinn Boren and I'm an assistant professor of economics at the University of Pennsylvania.